opioid crisis. Dr. Sherman, in the New Hampshire legislature, you talked about the need for more resources to help deal with the opioid crisis. But after billions of dollars in local, state, and federal spending, we're still seeing some of the highest fatality numbers on record. What specific steps will you take to reduce opioid overdoses and deaths? There are basically four components to this. There's prevention, intervention or intake, treatment, and recovery. We lack in all of those, but the most important is that you have to recognize that the people who are suffering from addiction have mental illness, they have other issues, and, this, and Chris Sununu put in place the doorways, which is a silo that puts them in one pocket and has never provided care the moment when somebody needs it. If you don't provide care when somebody needs it, they start going into withdrawal, and then they leave, and you've lost them. In the state of New Hampshire, in my district, in Seabrook, people who wanted treatment, they actually went to Manchester, not to Dover where Chris and Nunu's doorways were, because they knew they could get immediate treatment. Those, uh, those safe stations, Amber's place, by the way, today's Amber's birthday, she was someone who died of an overdose, those have closed because the, of the doorways. So they don't have any option now for immediate treatment. And that's why we're seeing addiction rates go up and overdose rates you, go Dr. up. Governor, to you, you restructured the opioid response services into what's called the hub and spoke model, calling it, quote, phenomenal. But American Medical Response, which provides emergency services in New Hampshire, says Nashua is on track this year to see its highest number of deadly overdoses since the crisis began. Manchester could see its highest number since 2017. This has been attributed to more fentanyl being incorporated into numerous different illegal drugs. You said it's time to change the messaging on this, but given how fentanyl is changing so much of this crisis, is it time to change something more fundamental about the state's Look, response? The, the door works. It's awesome. It is a fundamental change that provides that rural access to care. So I have to correct your numbers. When I became governor, remember, the numbers were skyrocketing. Under Governor Hassan, the numbers were skyrocketing on overdose deaths. They were up to 490. We rebuilt the whole system, the doorways. What happened? Went down to 415, 417, I think about 425 about a year ago. So we have gone down in overdose deaths by 15%. At the exact same time, those same four years, the national average has gone up 40%. Not only are we going down, but we're massively bucking a national trend that is out of control. Our model, again, is the envy of the country. They're asking how we provide those full wraparound services. We created recovery-friendly workplaces. We made sure that it wasn't just 28 days of treatment and out. We created different pathways for folks in treatment, different opportunities for recovery. We brought in other outside providers. And it wasn't just in Manchester. It was all across the state. So I'd, I'd ask you to go look at those numbers. We're down 15% over the past four years. The rest of the country is up 40% on overdose deaths. And that's the reality. Now, we are, you're right, we're seeing a bump, right? We're going to go up just a little bit here because it's now a cartel-driven market. They're putting it in Adderall. They're putting it in marijuana. They're putting it in cocaine. They're putting it in meth. Folks are dying because they don't even know they're taking it, which is a whole new that's approach tough. in terms of enforcement that you're right, we have to go after.